Hi, I'm Alan, and this is a video. Good morning, and good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Geometry Dash. Today, uh, we're gonna be checking out the new sneak peek. Rob Top just randomly dropped a sneak peek, and I'm kind of mad at him because I woke up to a notification of EVW being like, 2.2 is almost here. And I was like, wow, Eric, that's kind of cringe. That's kind of kind of clickbaiting, my guy. And then I looked at YouTube, and nine hours ago, as you can see here, nine hours ago, sorry for the Norwegian, somehow Rob Top dropped a sneak peek out of nowhere. That was 1 a.m. for my time, by the way. Way, which is really slightly annoying, but we have the sneak peek three and there's this rumor going around from like internal files from like boom links or whatever That said May 17th. I'm not gonna say that we're getting the the update tomorrow, but that would be kind of sick uh, But anyway, let's hop into it. Let's try and analyze a little bit put on our thinking caps uh, I'm not gonna speed it up. Hello. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, let's check it out Oh, it's platform remote stuff. Okay. Oh, the floating blocks? Oh, they're like those things in Mario. Those little, like, donut blocks in Mario. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I like that. What is that? Oh, it's a checkpoint system. Okay. This is literally just a Mario level. <laughs> this is literally just a Mario Mario level Bowser stage. Hello? All right. I see you, Rob. That's kind of sick. I like that. I like that. I like those animations. I also do- was that, a f was that a Mario jump sound? Hold up. Listen to that one more time. It is a Mario jump sound. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Dude, this is so cool. Wow. Okay. There is so much more to unpack here than I thought there was going to be. Th 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 there's just so much. Obvious inspiration from the Super Mario Bros. series. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii specifically, it seems like. It seems like the first castle stage with uh, the spinning cogwheels, the, the fire shooty stuff. But, wow. This was not what I was expecting. Blue coins? What are blue coins? Super Mario Sunshine? I'm sorry for dragging in Mario too much here. Are oh, you not going to collect the coin? Asshole. I want to see what the coin does. Oh my god, we're actually getting a Bowser boss fight at the end as well. No way. Dude, this is sick! Oh, that's so edgy. <laughs> that's so unnecessarily edgy. Oh my god. That reminds me of those stupid, um, uh, stupid, edgy, GD video intros for Extreme Demons. Ah, uh, it's awful. I hate it. I hate it. This is literally just an entirely different game, though. That's so fascinating. Oh, sound effect stuff? Oh, that's funny. Oh, there's a ton of them as well. Wow. Fire in the hole! Okay, that's, that's corny. Fire in the hole! That's really corny. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool! I love the sound effect stuff. That's gonna be- that's gonna make so many levels so much more immersive. Since all the songs use the same different, uh, songs, there's very little variety, so that's gonna crank up the immersion of levels so much. That's really cool. That's really awesome. I like how it's just a cartoon pirate folder. That's funny. Yeah, no, I have nothing else to say. That's just really cool. I'm very curious about the blue coin, though. This little fella right here. I wonder what it's gonna be. Uh, very curious about that. I did like the sound ju jump sound effects. The little bridge here was really cool as well. Uh, seems like we have some new animation decoration with these. That looks like a little chicken leg down in the corner there. Wonder if it is. Probably not though. I wonder what the coins do. I do wonder what the coins do. If they're just like an aesthetic thing or if they actually like do something on collection. Like are they a an actual collectible? Very fascinating though. Very, very fascinating. I'm curious if these are like programmable. If this is a set object, like a full object, or if it's just like a bunch of objects that create one thing. So you have the fireball that runs on a timer and a loop, and you have this thing that also runs on a loop, and then the particle effect that also runs on a loop. So it's like six different objects, three triggers, three sets of objects. Or if they just made a fireball shooter object. I don't know. That's what we're gonna find out whenever the update comes out in forever. Um, I don't know how I feel about the checkpoint system. I understand it from a perspective of platform mode where you have like full levels. Kind of like Mario where checkpoints make the levels much more accessible. And then for like top leaderboard times, it's probably a matter of passing and beating the level as fast as possible, which means that if you do it without the checkpoint, you do it faster, right? Uh, so no deaths 
is like rewarded. I'm very curious about that. I'm excited to see it. I don't know how much I'm going to be playing platformer myself because I'm not a huge platformer guy. I know that's a really ironic thing to say considering the fact that I'm literally a GD YouTuber and I play this game for a living, but I'm just not a huge fan of platformer games. But I don't know how much I'm going to be playing this. I know Eric is really excited for platformer mode. I'm going to be playing with it a little bit, but I'm probably just going to stick to the, what I'm used to. I'm not going to lie. The scary thing about GD getting this massive of an update is that it's so hard to tell if the core gameplay of GD that we all know and love is going to be very vastly different. Well, obviously, it's not going to be. There's going to be a lot of people who still make regular GD levels, but seeing the emphasis on platformer mode in this update makes me wonder how much fundamental change we're going to see with 2.2 for the regular base game and not just platformer mode. Anyway, <clears throat> oh my god, my voice. I'm so terribly sorry. Thank you for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. I think this is a really cool sneak peek. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised about it. Hopefully, it doesn't I, I know I'm going to bite myself in the ass for this, but it, it's been like three years now where we get sneak peeks and every single time I've been either away or today I was asleep. It would not surprise me if this releases while I'm on vacation in about a month. So that'll be fun. I will actually cry if that happens. But anyway, hopefully we see it on the anniversary on August 13th, 2023. That'll be awesome. I have no expectations though. And I um, implore you to not have expectations yourself for anything is going to release. But I'll see you guys around. Eat your green stuff. Thank you for making my day better. Hope my day was a little bit better too. Take care, everyone.